I think it was a Tuesday afternoon, early in January, and there was a knock at the door. I never answered the door. My husband is, is the doorman. So it was really very random, some, a Sunday afternoon, I think. <laughs> and there was a bearded gentleman there at the door. And he asked me if I had heard of Citizens' Assembly and would I be interested in serving on it. Then I said, OK. The Citizens' Assembly on Gender Equality was established to advance gender equality, to make proposals so that gender equality becomes the norm in the Ireland of tomorrow. There is a widespread feeling that the advance of gender equality has stalled in the last 10 years and that it's high time to get it moving again. I kind of thought this would be very interesting and it would be something um, as a citizen I thought I'd like to do. So I was excited about it, yeah, I was. I want to to make this country better for my ch my child. I want her to have a, a more, more opportunities. Um, well, we had the first meeting in uh, Dublin Castle in January 2020. Um, I found it an inspiring meeting. At that stage, our aim was to open up the issues, get people thinking about them. And then in the discussion groups, they started talking about, well, um, does society have to be like that? Why do we think like that? And we thought it would go on like that for the next six months until COVID hit. COVID landed really with a bang and I was concerned, um, yeah, that it, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't continue um, and that it was a, a lost opportunity. So then when I got a message from um, the Citizens' Assembly saying, would I be interested in doing it online and did I know how to use Zoom? Oh, I knew how to use Zoom. So I said, yeah, I'll have a go. Yeah, I had no idea what to expect, actually. The first one was a little bit, there was a few sort of uh, technical issues for others. It wasn't the same as, as meeting them face to face. But once we got into the, into the swing of things, um, you know, and into smaller breakout groups, conversations started to flow again. Probably where we all felt most at home was when we were put into our breakout groups. I enjoyed it, you know, and I think everybody was way more reasonable than I expected. I had a four-week-old baby, so she was a little bit of a disruption on the first. I think she was introduced to a hundred citizens. But look, at it, that's all. That's all part of it, and it it probably fed into the the gender piece, you know, around child-minded and care for children. Citizen, um, of course, is central to the Assembly. They are being asked to inform themselves and then to give their views to their political representatives. So they were in charge of the process all the way through. My own role and that of the Secretariat was to help them make it happen, to present them with the facts, to structure the meetings, but it's their voice that matters. We looked at the um, Constitution, Bonnock Nahirn, written 1937, written in a patriarchy for a patriarchy. We had the opportunity to like to really explore these issues in depth, to you know debate about them, to think about them, to look at some of the issues that are you know in the the in between, the the grey area. There were some things I did learn, but there were other things that people learned from me. As the group progressed and, and you know we went through different different topics, I come to see that you know it, it is actually a bigger issue than I, I originally imagined. The more I learned about the topics, the more I felt the need for significant and long-lasting change. I kind of would have considered myself a feminist, but certainly there has been a, a, an awful lot of, uh, of perspectives that I may not have con considered previously. Until you walk in somebody else's shoes, it's very hard to know what's going on. The Citizens Assembly is a, an essential idea. Um, it's active citizenship. It's citizens um, taking responsibility for their country and saying, this is what we want. This is the society that we want. It was a very, very positive and enlightening and encouraging experience, actually. I felt kind of proud that I was representing the woman who was told to stay in the home and all this guff that we had to put up with. I'm proud that I may have in some small way played a, a part in, in, in creating a, a brighter and more equitable future for my three daughters. People who you've never, never met before come together 
all being passionate about the one thing, um, it's really, really inspiring. Restored a bit of faith in humanity. The advice that we give is going to the Taoiseach. How many people get that opportunity in their lives? I think um, what we will see coming out of this particular Citizens' Assembly is a very strong call for change. That is definitely the mood of our citizens. There's a lot of things that need to be changed in this country. And I hope they feel that the, the recommendations that we give now are valid and reasonable because the, we are the citizens and we have, we have worked hard 